Well, uh, that was a failed attempt. So yeah, uh, let's get into the video. Hello everybody, this is Illusion Falls back here with another video. Now, the lighting and the camera quality and all that may look different because I'm actually recording with my GoPro. Let's bring the mic up a little bit closer, shall we? I have the desk a lot lower than what it usually is, so the mic is sitting a lot lower too. But hopefully it's picking up my audio okay. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. So, this week's tech review video is on my iPad. Now, it's a very specific iPad. It is, it's literally just called the iPad 2017. That's it. Literally just called that. I've had this about since... 2017 probably a little bit after I think like the beginning of 2018 when I got to go uh, when I had to go repair my Galaxy S7 because I messed up the tray in it and it wasn't reading the SIM card so we had to travel to a city get that fixed and they were giving us an offer so we bought this iPad for me uh, I don't really use my iPad for a whole lot of things. The main thing that I do use my iPad for is art. And I actually just finished up a piece last night. So here's the sketch for the drawing that I did. And then I redid it, traced it, traced that same piece of paper with cleaner lines and stuff. And then I did coloring, and I did the coloring with these very, very expensive markers. They're called Copic markers. I got the 72 pack. They're alcohol based. They're really expensive though. But besides the point, so I took a picture of this drawing here, the colored one. Did it on my, uh, put the picture into this app called Procreate. It's a drawing program. I paid like $10 for it. The pen that I used to do my drawing, it's a Wacom pen. I picked it up for about $50 at Staples. Um, it's called the Wacom Bamboo. But, uh, so, yeah, stage one, stage two, and then here's the final image of the full digital drawing. I kind of decided to go with and putting in the eyes from the stage one drawing and add a little bit of reflection into the goggles, like a little bit of a glare, like the side glare or whatever. So I did that and I did some shading. It's kind of hard to see. I did like a dark yellow on the right side of his, uh, of his uh, torso right there. And then I did some shading along his arms and all that, his head, his hair. Uh, so again, again, I've had this for about, about two years. Uh, the only reason why it's all scratched up and stuff on the back, the sides and all that is the case that was, it, uh, that it was in when we bought it, we bought it with the case. I've had it on and like the material was. I wouldn't say it was rough material, but I guess every time I put the iPad into the case, the side of the plastic from the case would scrape the back and the sides of the iPad. So that's why those scruff marks are there. But um, in terms of it running, for it being a two-year-old device, it still runs pretty smooth. I do run uh, regular apps on here. I have Facebook, I have Instagram, I got Discord on here. But again, really the main thing I only really use this iPad for is to do drawing. Uh, for some reason I have Steam on here. But uh, Instagram, I mainly have only to 
uh, to post the drawings, of course. Uh, I also have an app called Telegram. It's a messaging app, and I have the I have a saved photos section to put that stuff in there, so I can transfer it to my phone. Because for some reason, when I upload the photo from my iPad, the quality is a lot worse than what it is on my Galaxy. So. I send the photo into Telegram into my saved photo section and then I download the photo from my phone and then I upload the picture from uh, my phone up to Instagram but all depends on what I think of the piece if it thinks if I think it looks good or if I even have the motivation to transfer it to Telegram and do all that stuff sometimes I won't do that and I'll just upload it straight from my iPad but most of the time I upload it from my phone from sending it to Telegram and then downloading it from Telegram and then uploading it to uh, Instagram uh, I also have Facebook Messenger. I have Amino on here. I don't use Amino <laughs> anymore. Uh, but yeah. Uh, and I've done some other drawings too. I'll throw these up on the screen here as well. Um, but these are some of my works that I've done in the past two weeks. Was this guy drawing he's a OC of mine his name is Daniel the guy in the yellow suit his name is Daniel he's set in the My Hero Academia universe and then the girl that's in the blue that you see all blue gray skin her name is Juniper she is also an OC of mine in the My Hero Academia universe and he uh, he she is actually Daniel's girlfriend so they're dating uh, Daniel's power is like a toxic uh, fume type thing. I know a lot of you probably don't watch My Hero Academia, but for those that you know what it is, in Season 3 there's that guy called Mustard. So his power is very similar to Mustard, uh, but he can also use that toxic mist to also kind of turn it into... A sludge type substance almost like Mina except it's not acid it's not Mina's acid it's just toss a uh, toxic sludge like uh, from Pokemon the toxic sludge move right and then Juniper she has telekinesis so she can move stuff with her mind uh, <laughs> other than that <laughs> So, my main concern with Apple itself is that you have to pay for storage. The iPad itself only comes with like 4 gigabytes of storage. And I can only have up to like 1500 photos on my iPad. So, I have deleted a lot of stuff from my iPad. And I've had to delete quite a bit of apps. That's again, that's my main thing with Apple is their storage problem. That's why I like Samsung because you can buy your storage at however much you want and just pay that one price. I think for the storage for Apple products, you have to pay the fee like every once in a while. So um, even though I have a lot of art. I just transfer all of that to uh, Telegram and then I save it onto my phone. So a lot of it, yeah, it's transferred to my phone and a lot of it is uploaded from my phone itself. But again, for, uh, and also the weight, it's pretty dang light. It feels only, I don't have my phone. I mean, obviously it's heavier than my phone. But for what it is and how thin it is, it's pretty light. Uh, also, the <laughs> that beginning clip that you guys saw where I threw the iPad onto that uh, big old giant Snorlax. Uh, I don't know. I was just trying to do a little stupid intro. So 
and I wasn't gonna throw the iPad itself straight onto the table. I wanted to see what happened if I threw it on something soft. But that failed miserably because the iPads f slipped off, knocked the microphone over, and, and also that beginning shot was opened with my Samsung. Right now I'm recording with my GoPro and this microphone. I don't know, I just wanted to try something different with the with the cameras that I have. Next episode is probably going to be recorded with my Canon. And my Canon doesn't have a mic in port at all. So, uh... That's probably going to be some really crappy audio. Because I don't want to have to record separate audio. And, yeah. But anyways, overall, again... I just use the iPad mainly for art. Uh, Price-wise, we got it for... I don't even remember, like... Two-something? Two hundred dollars and... Two hundred-some dollars or something like that. Uh, next video, I'm probably going to be doing a review on the Wacom Pen. It's going to be a short review, but... I mean, half of this video I've been rambling about other crap, but again, overall, this iPad, I've had it for almost two years. For what it is, I think it's worth the money for people trying to do digital art. I know there's a bunch of other art-based tablets out there that are meant only for art. And you can hook it up to your computer or your laptop or whatever. And you're essentially just using the pad as a monitor. But for what the iPad is and the program that it has on it. it uh, I also use Metabang. But I haven't used it in like a year. I've been using Procreate for like the past year. Just because everything looks so much smoother. And you have so much more options. Mm. But Metabang. Uh... It's free. And then Procreate, which is what I use, it's $10 in the Apple Store. But whenever I go and search it up in the Apple Store, it doesn't appear in there for some reason. Like, I type in Procreate and it just doesn't show up in the Apple Store anymore. So, but again, overall, I love the device. It's good for art for people that want to do digital art and you can buy a bunch of other stuff on it like get youtube or get music and i actually do i okay that's another thing i have a lot of music on here i have a lot of music on my phone but the music from my phone and the music from my ipad are completely different <laughs> i have maybe 50 songs on here on the ipad and like 20 on my phone i know that doesn't sound like a lot but to me it is because money it costs money you know but uh overall great device uh i should probably buy a new case because the one that i have it's kind of rotting out and breaking so if I get some money this Christmas, maybe I'll buy a new case. Maybe even one that has a keyboard on it. There is stuff like that. I've seen it on Amazon. I don't know if it works, but it's literally a case that has a keyboard on it, and you just plug it in. It has a little cord that you can plug into your iPad, and it's supposed to work. But I don't know if it does. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys enjoyed this stupid review of me barely talking about the iPad and uh, talking about other stuff, it's still related to the iPad, but, you know, again, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like or leave a comment or maybe even subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.